Hi everyone, Cynthia Marcus here, registered social worker. I thought it would be helpful to talk today about overstimulation. It is something I experience more than I'd like. I am a highly sensitive person, so I feel things with a lot of intensity. And something that I think is a very common experience for everyone really in today's day and age, but I have a soft spot for the moms that experience overstimulation because I find that um, my role as a mom is the most overstimulating for me. Um, some of that might be just my own personal uh, sensory triggers that come up with children. Um, but I, I, I hear it seems to also be pretty common. Um, so I, I thought maybe just labeling it and talking a little bit about what can be helpful and how to understand it could be um, useful. So as I was kind of thinking about this, you know, I always have so much more in my head than is realistic to get out in a couple of minutes on video. Um, but I thought of a couple of tools. So there's one called the window of tolerance, not mine. It's a pretty well known tool out there um, that you can Google and access if you're interested. Um, there's lots of really cool visuals as well, but really the basic idea is that we all have kind of like a window where we're good. Like, and some of our windows are like tiny, tiny, tiny. <laughs> some of us have these huge windows that can just like tolerate a lot of ups and downs in life. Um, mine is not that big. I think because I'm so sensitive, I just feel things intensely. So I can kind of shoot out of the window either which direction. And really what that's getting at is like one direction is sort of like hypervigilance, like high energy, like overwhelm that way. And the other direction is hypo arousal, which is like shutting down. Um, so understanding how big your window is and sort of what you can tolerate as far as sensory information, which could include sounds. It could include really, I think there's also like the mental load piece, like how much can I carry in my brain before it becomes overwhelming? Do lights bother me? Do sounds, do textures, do like just anything sensory wise temperature. Does that make a big difference to my system? Being able to tune in and get a sense of what is soothing, what is triggering, what is tolerable, what is not, is a really useful first step. Because once we are tuning in, we can notice the patterns and either try to set things up to mitigate um, being shot out of your window or develop good coping strategies for when that happens. Um, I know, I've learned in the last few years, that having more than one person talking to me at the same time just like sends my brain into this spiral. It starts to shoot me out of my window. So now when both my kids and sometimes my husband, I have to look at him and go like, his window is a lot bigger than mine. <laughs> I think he's just much less triggered by like sound. That's something that is much more. So the kids could be kind of like getting escalated and I hear it right away. I'm on it because that's, that's just how I'm wired. And he's like, focused on something else doesn't even like notice it sometimes and it just baffles me but we have very different systems right that get triggered by different things so if more than one person is talking to me and I start to feel that like blood pressure rising and that kind of like hyper vigilance hyper arousal beginning then I've tuned in enough and recognized the pattern enough that now I can kind of go stop take a deep breath myself tell the people you need to go one at a time. Before I was tuned into this, I just shout, right? Like we just react in those moments if we're not in tune with it. So overstimulation, you know, we can avoid it to a certain degree or cope with it more effectively, but we can't make it go away. I can't change my system. I might be able to widen my window of tolerance little by little, if I really work hard at understanding and developing new strategies and healing things that might be shrinking it down. Um, but I'm always going to be sensitive. I'm never going to have like a huge window. Like that's just not realistic. So being able to understand kind of how I'm built, what um, overstimulates me, what soothes me. So then at the end of a long day, or, you know, I took our kids to a training class once. 
things and I couldn't believe how exhausted I was when I got home. And there was nothing bad about it. I think it was just recognizing after the fact, like, oh, that was busy. Like, that was a lot of noise and just a lot of chaos. And now I just need to, like, rest. And being able to acknowledge that and just lean into the things that make you feel better um, can be really, really helpful. So I know this was just a little snippet, as always, just short and sweet, some ideas. Um, if this is something you struggle with and you're looking for more support around it, please feel free to reach out. Take care. Until next time.